This was uh, an expansion cohort of the phase one study, and we had 23 patients who were enrolled. And we looked at responses in different ways. The first was with novel uh, tumor volume score. That was actually a very nice way to encompass the whole process that's going on in the joint. And what we found is when we looked at that novel tumor volume score, we saw that about 79% of the patients who actually were measurable by that process had a, a partial response, which was a greater than 50% reduction in that tumor process. We also found that as that process began to shrink and melt away, that patient's symptoms really improved. So people went from not being able to walk, having significant pain and swelling, and really gaining back their function within the joint and, and their ability to attend to all their activities of daily living. We also looked at it by standard response criteria known as RESIST, and we found that 60% of the patients had actually a response by RESIST criteria, which is also amazing. So this is a, a proof of principle type of study where patients were able to take a drug specific for a disease and it was really able to not only decrease the tumor volume but tremendously improve their symptoms. Of the 21 patients that we were able to look at on the study, most of them, 17 of them remain on study, some of them for well over a year. So it's, it's remarkable that this drug not only allows for the process to melt away, but it's a drug that's well tolerable and people can remain on it over time.